Standing by with the Clubhouse Report brought to you by Empire City Casino. Let's play. And we've talked lately about noticeable absences in the Yankees lineup. And there is another one tonight. Tell us about that. There is, Bob. The Yankees posted their lineup in the clubhouse at about 3.20 this afternoon, and Mark Teixeira's name was not in it. Now, he was not available for comment earlier today, but Joe Girardi did meet with the media, as he always does pregame, and said that Teixeira has been suffering from some muscle spasms in his neck. He said it's been going on for a little while now. Girardi was also asked whether or not that could be part of the problem Teixeira is having at the plate, and Teixeira is hitting 202 for the season, but just four hits in his last 37 at-bats. He has not looked great offensively. Now, defensively, he has not skipped a beat. There's no question he's been doing a solid job there, but the Yankees really could benefit from him getting right at the plate. So Joe Girardi opting to give him today off, maybe tomorrow as well. He said he was going to see exactly how Mark Teixeira felt tomorrow, and he would even check and see if he was available off the bench. But in knowing the way Joe Girardi typically likes to rest players, especially when they're dealing with an ailment, he likes to give them a full day and stay away from him, so I'd be surprised to see Mark Teixeira in the game at all tonight. As far as the Yankees lineup and what that does to it, without Teixeira in there, we have Dustin Ackley starting at first base, and there is some good news on the injury front. Starlin Castro back in there batting second and playing second base. He's been a bright spot offensively for the Yankees all season long. They are happy that that issue with his oblique wasn't a big deal, only missed one game, uh, and he's back out there in the lineup. Also noteworthy, Ben Gamel getting his first career start in right field and let's rewind to last night eighth inning 1-0 count Dylan G he manages to find a hold on the left side of the infield that is his first career hit so Ben Gamble very quickly getting some of those firsts out of the way and he said it has been a little bit of a whirlwind of emotion but that is this is what you live for this is what you want to play for so you have to imagine that he's extremely excited to get that opportunity in right field tonight keeping it with the injuries Jacoby Ellsbury continues continues to progress, but still not enough to get in there and get in a game. But earlier today, he was doing some light jogging out there on the field. So signs of progress from Ellsbury. But Joe Girardi said the true test for Ellsbury is going to come when he tries to sprint in the outfield. He's a guy that relies so much on his legs, not only on the base paths, but in the outfield playing center field. They can't have him come back unless he is right. So Joe Girardi said that should happen within the next couple of days. I also asked Girardi... At what point in time is he a DL candidate? Can you just not play with a short bench like you've been forced to play with the past couple of days? And he says you give him about a week. If he's not showing major signs of progress and you don't think you're going to get him back within a couple of days, then potentially you look towards the DL. So Jacoby Ellsbury originally suffered that injury Friday night against Boston. That was May 6th. We're currently at May 10th. So not quite a DL candidate yet, but the Yankees want to get him back, but only if he's right, especially considering the way he needs those legs to really produce.